In this video, I'm going to go over one way to get an existing web project up to GitHub pages so that you can serve it through the GH pages branch. So usually when I have a web project, I don't use version control from the beginning because I always forget. So I end up with a folder with sort of a half-built project in it. And then I realize oh, I should be doing version control on this and I want to have it up on GitHub. But then it's sort of too late. So then I usually think, well, I'll just initialize this as a repository and then I'll push that up to GitHub pages. But it doesn't seem to work out that way. So this is the way I've been doing it now and it seems to work pretty good, is that I have an existing project. Rather than try and initialize this as a repo, I'm going to go to GitHub pages and I'm going to create a new repo here first. And I'm going to call this Let's not do capitals. Simple order system. Sort of a mock-up of something I might build one day. And this is public. I'm going to go ahead and initialize it with a readme. And I already had a git ignore in there. I think I'm going to skip that and I'm not going to put a license in there. I'm just going to create a repository. So this is just going to be basically a blank repository. And now you can see I'm in the master branch, but I don't want to be in the master branch. I want to have a GH pages branch. So I'm going to go here create a GH pages branch and now you can see I have a GH pages branch and I still have the master branch. I have two branches but I don't really want the master branch anymore so I'm going to change this default to the GH pages branch update. Yes I understand and I'll go back over here to code back up here to branches and now the other branch is the master branch. I'm going to delete it. There's nothing in here. It was just a blank repository. Nothing to lose if you screw up here. But what you want to end up with is just the GH pages branch. And all there is in it is the single readme. So now I need to download this to my local working directory. And then I'm going to copy all my files into this. So you're going to go over here and copy this to the clipboard. And then I'm going to go back to Windows here. And I'm going to end up making, so this is the one I'm going to do. This is simple order system here. It's these files. I'm going to go up here. I have one main, main directory. Uh, that is my where all my repositories are. I usually use Mercurial and then uh, Bitbucket. Lately I've been using GitHub Pages a little bit. So what I want to do is open up a command window here. I'm going to shift right click and then we're going to do open command window here and then I'm going to do git clone and paste in the link that I just copied. And now you see what happened in the background here is I now have a new folder, simple order system. Notice how I named them slightly different so that it could make its new folder. And if I click on there, there's my readme and there's the git folder. So now I need to cd into that subdirectory. And now that I'm in there in the command window, I'm just going to go back out here into the file system and I'm going to copy and paste all of these files that are for my project. And I'm going to put them in the new one that was just made. And now all those files are going to be in this repository. They're not committed yet. They're not added into version control yet. I need to do that next. This other folder, I'm no longer going to use it. I'm a little reluctant to delete it just yet, so I'm going to rename it. And we'll go back to the command window. And now I need to add all those into version control. Git add space period. And then I need to commit those. And then I need to push them. So since I deleted the master, this is going to be git push origin gh pages. And there you go. Those should be all up on GitHub. Should be in the GH Pages branch. And if I go here to settings, it should show that they're published. And there you go. It looks okay. I mean, there's nothing special here. It's just sort of a mock-up 